it should tell America how the United States really is to leave, you know, first American, indigenous person here to face a foreign mining company in our own land. It just should tell everyone that the United States stands on a false foundation. to D.C. and left my letters with Congress and the Forest Service, the Agricultural Department, and told all of them I'm leaving the reservation to come home. I came back here to um, see the negligence that the United States was doing to our holy and sacred places. grandfather when I was a senior, he started this movement of trying to protect Oak Flat when he was a part of the St. Carlos Tribal Council. This year's run is really critical. I, I hate saying it, but it could be our last. And when uh, Resolution Copper tries to finesse it, you know, it seems to blind people. They don't realize the impact that's going to occur from this. And so we're all going to be devastated by, you know, our children within the next 20 years. Resolution Copper will utilize a well-established mining technique called caving. The first signs of subsidence will occur after a few years of mining. Subsidence is expected to continue following the cessation of active mining after closure. The vegetation in this area will be significantly affected. Our Apache Wars isn't over because no longer are they killing us and you know, slaughtering our people and putting us in prison, they're gonna take our religion away. And that's another act of genocide because then we're not Apache people if we don't have no religion. It's a total, not only desecration, but really wiping it off on the face of the earth. And the only thing that you can describe on that is how evil that is. A year ago in November, I watched my dad say that was it. He was tired of the government lying to him and to his people. So he decided to make his journey home. It took three days. Uh, him and my second youngest daughter, uh, they walked and ran all the way back from old San Carlos to Oak Flat. This is like the new San Carlos, but we're heading towards old San Carlos where it was Hell's Hole 40, um, the concentration camp where all the people were brought in as prisoners of war. You, know, you can imagine, you know, I mean, having, direct military oversight on them. And the whole thing was to, to break us so that they can do as will with everything they wanted from this country, you know. Here's a, here's a little glance, uh, glimpse of the monument that, that I put together so that our people will never forget the tragedy that we went through. I look at this as, uh, the centerpiece of our, our, our history, the good and bad. There's reverence in, in the little peaks of the mountains where the military uh, posted their snipers. And so, you know, the Indian people, the people here were ordered not to go so far. And if they did, you know, they, they, the snipers would take them out. This is where the Oak Flat runs from St. Carl's where it starts. It was important for me to come back here and start off from here when I vacated the reservation to move back to Oak Flats. It was just the right place for me to leave, you know, from the, where the suffering started to where, now for me personally, the healing, you know, then, then now taking this message across the country. You don't have to smile, you can look stoic. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> I'm happy, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs>
I want to look Let's smile. give Amina patchy look now. <laughs> okay, the patchy look. That's me. How do you feel? Amazing. <sighs> Shrunk. <laughs> That's a long run. Yes. Well, I just kept asking for my ancestors to push me, to push me. That this is my sacred homeland. Nobody can't take that from me. <sighs> Run! Hey! You guys did it! There's a reason why you're here. There's a reason why you're here. And for me, you know, I live here. And it hurts because I don't know what's going to happen with that land transfer. We have our lawsuits in and everything. This is a holy place. It's going to be murder. It's going to be killed. It's not over yet. We're still praying for those miracles that America would just stand up and do the right thing. A lot of people have asked me, like, Melin, um, when's the first time you've started fighting? You know, when did you get in the fight? And I said when I took my first breath, because indigenous people were not meant to be here. The United States and its military were trying to make our people extinct, and they failed at that. When our people were free, this was a place that you could be born here and you could die here. And we believe that this is a direct connection to our Creator. Everything here, from the air to the dirt to, to the water, it signifies a spirit that we believe in. And that spirit is Chochel Bishagot El. And that spirit is where we have our sunrise ceremonies. And this is that place. <laughs> When these girls have these sunrise ceremonies here, because there's been a lot of girls who, who've had it here at Oak Flat, they're reborn. And your Dinek lifeline, that connection, is entwined with the place you have that ceremony. <laughs> I feel that as a, the oldest daughter that I have to fight for my sister's life because knowing the fact that if this crater, you know, when the land subsides from the mine, my sister directly is impacted because she's harmed because that lifeline is connected to here. So if you kill that, then you're killing all those girls a part of their life. As a woman, we talk about how we're able to give life that's here at Oak Flat. I've taught my girls that was passed down from my grandmother to me how to pick the chichil, the, the acorn, and how it gives life. Those stories, those teachings are in there. The waters, the medicine, the food, our berries, our tunkoje that we make, that we drink, the berry juice, that's all here. As a mother, that's my job to pass on to my children and my grandchildren. How am I gonna do that? Without the oak trees, without her shelter, without her water, without her teachings through the petroglyphs and through the burial sites, it's like we're empty. It's been, uh, what do you call it, when they uh, go paint and mess it up. Uh, it wasn't like this until this whole issue with resolution copper. And when they talk about prehistoric and when they talk about the petroglyphs, then this was all uh, destroyed. It was a storytelling of the life here. From all the medicine plants, the acorn trees, you know, all the petroglyphs, all the holy sites, the, the homes of the deities, it's all gonna subside. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
beginning when everything was created and everything came to be, the deities, the angels around the world were put in places like this to reside. You have to kind of break away from what capitalism does to you, you know, and give yourself back, you know, to where these things don't classify you, where they don't look at you, you know, as you're different, but take you in as family. There's a whole different uh, mentality that comes in, a whole different feeling, and then you're able to touch life. I think the way the system is, is that it suppressed so many people that, you know, we're all looking for healing, and it's right here, you know, it's right in America's backyard, but, you know, that's why we can't destroy it. That's why the people got to stand for, for what is left. says breaking news urgent notification withdraw resolution compromise and then it states that good morning tribal leaders are writing this morning to make you aware of the decision made by the usda to direct to direct the forest service to resend the final environmental impact statement and draft record of decision for the resolution compromise and the related land exchange Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. I called the Lynn, too, and she's crying. She's at work, but she's at <laughs> Wow. I told the girls, I said, it doesn't protect it completely, but it gives us time. And now Lynn said, let's go start lobbying. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. All right. I'm just going to enjoy myself going down slow. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Nas. Okay, Dad. Love you. Hi, babe. I love you, too. Love you, guys. Good job, Dad. Good job, Dad. I don't know if you've seen the birds just fly over me the wall we go, right? <laughs> just flew in circles. And, uh, I mean, for here, yes, you know, I guess to breathe. I guess March 11 is not a deadline now. I mean, we haven't totally got it yet, but it gives us a leverage now. Big one. But we can't stop, you know. Gotta make sure that this place is protected.